One of the most trending shows in the last week is on Netflix and is called Tiger King. If you haven't seen it, haven't heard about it, it may just be one of the best documentaries currently out there. It's a series about a few different people, exotic animal owners, primarily animal owners who breed tigers in the US to raise and monetize their tiger cub collection for visitors interested in taking photos and or playing with big cats. It's a massive business. And once these baby tigers get beyond six months old, they become so large, there is no way to just toss them in a cage with tourists for a play date. These cats will rip you to shreds and take your limbs right off in an instant. And that's just a risk you have to take when you operate a business like this. Unfortunately, while the sight of a living, breathing tiger is probably unmatched, it's seen as cruel to isolate these animals from the wild, only for the profit and pleasure of people paying exorbitant amounts of money just to pet one. The main exotic pet owner that Tiger King follows is the self-proclaimed Tiger King himself, Joe Exotic. Joe Exotic is currently in prison for around 80 years, but as you'll see right away in the show, he has filmed his daily routine for years on YouTube, taking care of lions and tigers, some weighing over 900 pounds. You can tell the man has a unique bond with these animals, and how they treat him as one of their own for the most part. But when things get wild, and I mean only for a second, beauty turns to chaos, and if you ask me, I wouldn't want to be anywhere near these powerful beasts. Just like family dogs will fight and wrestle each other, these cats do the same, except the situation is massively more dangerous. Cats gang up on each other, literally killing each other in only minutes, while tranquilizer darts only start working after 20 or 30 minutes, so there's no way to intervene and help out a targeted female or child tiger. It's extremely sad, and while you may think this only happened in one or two places in the world, you're wrong. There are more tigers privately owned in the state of Texas than all the tigers in the wild all over the earth. While Tiger King obviously focuses on the pros and cons of breeding big cats, it has more twists and turns than you'd ever expect. Joe Exotic, for example, is introduced as a gay man with two husbands from Oklahoma. Joe has over 200 cats on his property and he's battling lawsuit after lawsuit with his arch nemesis Carol Baskins who runs a non-profit big cat rescue organization, which isn't really too far off of what Joe Exotic does. They both have a lot of tigers, and they both have visitors come into their property like it's a zoo. What's crazy about Carol Baskins is while she goes after all these different pet owners around the US for allegedly abusing and killing cats that have aged out of the premier age for performances and shows, there's a super popular theory that she may have murdered one of her ex-husbands and fed him to her tigers. I'm serious, people believe this too. Joe Exotic would bring the subject up regularly on his show. He would sometimes even blow up a sex doll and then shoot it with the pistol at point blank range saying this was what was going to happen to Carol. And sure enough, Joe got to the point where he actually tried hiring somebody to kill her. That's when he goes to trial and ends up being convicted. Something else that is super crazy is Joe's youngest husband, who was I think around 23, came into an office on the property one day pointing his handgun at employees, jokingly, and was told by Joe's campaign manager, oh I forgot to mention, Joe was running for president, to not point that gun at him. And that's when Joe's young husband said the gun could not fire without a magazine, and turned the gun on himself to prove the point. Unluckily for him, the gun fired, and Joe's second husband was gone. All of this was captured on a security camera that showed the campaign manager talking with the victim who was off screen when the fatal shot happened. It's honestly the most back and forth documentary series I have ever seen, yet it's a masterpiece. I don't want to say too much else for those who haven't had a chance to see it yet, but for anyone who is looking for an interesting show to dive into, Tiger King must be on that list. Anyway, you can find it on Netflix. If you have already seen Tiger King, let me know what part or parts were the most intriguing for you. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Take care, and I will see you soon.